welcome to this session on evolution of information management systems. In this section, we talk about data visualization. In the earlier sessions, we talked about how to analyze the data, but analysis of data is of little use until or unless we are able to extract information about it and disseminate the information to the end users in a form that is easily understandable to them. Section also touches upon the use of cloud computing in developing information management solutions. In conclusion, we look at system architecture that can be used for traditional and modern day information management solutions combining the traditional and the modern day information management solutions to develop a holistic system which can cater to any kind of data analytics from business intelligence to predictive analytics and data mining. So what is data visualization? Well, simply put, it is representing data in a manner that allows for visual analysis of the data. So without getting into the rigors of data analytics, right? We just look at the data and try and understand what information the data possibly is conveying. The different types of visualizations, we could have data in a tabular form, data in a textual form, data in graphical forms, right? Here are a few examples of graphical representation of data. We can see a bar graph here, right? It represents the information about countries with the most oil reserves, starting from the one which has the maximum reserve to the one that has the minimum one amongst the countries denoted here. Next is the bubble chart, right? We have the height and weight of different students. One interesting thing about a bubble chart is it allows you to visualize data which has more than two dimensions and a two dimensional plane. So if you can see here, there's a statement which says the size of the bubble represents the age of the students. So apart from height and weight, we also have information about the age of the students on the bubble chart. Here is a pie chart. We all know what it is. Pretty much represents a fraction of the data in comparison to the whole. Each of these sectors of a circle is a fraction of the data, right? So these are some of the data, graphical data representation or visualization uh, methods. There are many, many more to it, right? And as a part of your data science uh, course, you would be learning data visualization in a lot more depth. Here, we've just looked at the tip of what data visualization is. Some of the tools, more important ones are Tableau, Power BI, and ClickView. These are the most used data visualization tools. There are others in the market as well. We have Fusion Charts, Plotly, is a web-based tool and Sysense. So all these tools allow you to create visuals, data visuals and graphs and dashboards that are easily understandable by the business users. Mm -hmm.